Okay, so I uh, started off um, painting my stone with some multi-surface black paint. Um, and here I have made a stencil. Um, I cut this out myself. I will be having these for sale in my um, eBay store and my Etsy shop as well. I will put a link in the video's description below if you are interested in purchasing those. Um, I've also switched to chalk. I just think it comes off a lot easier than the charcoal pencil. Okay, so here we got our guidelines ready. And I'm going to start off with an 11.5 millimeter uh, crochet hook, and that is just with a white. Alright, and I am using a size 3 nail stylus dotting tool, and I'm going to put one really light yellow, is the color that I'm using here. Um, I'm going to put one dot on each of the 12 spokes all around the center circle there. So you just want to go right on the spoke. Okay, so I'm just lightening up some turquoise paint with a little bit of white, and I am just going to use the same size, which is a three, um, and I'm just going to put a dot um, of the light turquoise right in between each of the light yellow dots. Um, so just alternating the colors, and um, there will be a total of 24 dots around the center dot. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit uh, more yellow to the color that I have there, just to make it a little stronger. And the same with the turquoise, just going to add a little bit more turquoise and mix it in with the light turquoise, and just so it's a little bit of a, a brighter color. And here I'm going with a size 4 nail stylus dotting tool, and I'm going to be putting the dots right next to each other. So the yellow dot is going to go right next to the yellow dot. Um, and the turquoise will go uh, right on the turquoise. Um, so the yellow is going to go from, it's going to fade from yellow to orange to red. And I'm going to keep those right on the spokes. So those, look gonna, those are going to go straight out the spokes. Okay, now the blue dots are going to be going, um, they're going to be right next to the blue dots. So um, I find that it, seems to help if you just rotate your stone as you go. So just stick um, the blue dot right next to the blue dot and then rotate and just kind of help, helps keep it uh, all lined up for you. Okay, so another way you could do this um, is you could just run your dots like all one color and just ascending in size all the way out if you wanted to do that, um, but here I just alternate and I stick them right next to each other. You could um, you could offset them all as well, but um, this tutorial I just show this way um, of just alternating and sticking them right next to each other. Um, okay, this is a size five nail stylus dotting tool, and I'm going with the straight yellow paint and the straight turquoise paint. And we're just going to put the turquoise right in between the yellow dots. So right in between the spokes all the way straight out. Like lots of little arms. All right, now here I'm going to start blending some colors. So um, I've got my straight yellow, and I'm just going to put one drop of um, straight orange in it and just mix it up so it's an orangish yellow now. And the same with the turquoise. I'm going to go ahead and start blending some blue in. So this is electric blue. Oops, a little overboard. <laughs> electric blue, and I just want to blend that in with the turquoise just to start. Um, feeding it out to the desired cobalt at the end here. Alright, moving on, um, I have moved to uh, my smallest wooden dowel, and it is about a three and a half millimeter diameter. 
and I just want to keep them on the spokes um, as straight as I could possibly keep it. It does get a little tough if you don't have five lines, but um, I do think rotating the stone as you go, it does seem to help you look straight down and be able to keep those dots all lined up rather than just looking at it in one position. Okay, and then going with the turquoise and blue mixture, I'm just going to put a dot with the same wooden dowel right in between all of the um, orangish yellow dots there. Okay. And I know that light is pretty bright. It's kind of hard to see the fade. Um, okay, so moving on, I am just going to put one more drop of blue and then one more drop of orange. And that's just to richen up the color. So we'll just be adding a little bit more and a little bit more. Moving on to a size 4 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I will put in the video's description below all the paints that I used. And I will also put links to all the tools that I use. And you can find those right below this video. And so we're just going to keep them going straight out as we've been doing here. Okay, so there's our orange. And the same size. And we're going to start adding the uh, turquoise blue. And I just kind of put them right in between each of the orange dots. All right, and we are moving on to a five millimeter crochet hook. And this is the full strength blue. Um, this is the electric blue from the Apple Barrel Multi Surface Paints. And I will be using the full strength of the Outrageous Orange as well. Um, so there's no blending of these. So I'm basically um, doing two blends uh, per color before I use the, um, the full strength color by itself. Okay, so um, here I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of the cobalt to the blue color I have and a little tiny bit of red to the orange. Um, those are both very strong colors, so you just need a little teeny tiny bit. Okay, and this is a size 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so here's how it's looking. 
And again, I'm going to start um, mixing in a little bit more cobalt. So it's gotten uh, much darker. And I'm mixing in a little bit more red. So it's now more of a reddish orange. All right. So this is uh, my six and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm really starting to curve down the size of the rock here. So it's it's kind of more difficult to see if you're keeping your lines straight or not. So I kind of um, just place them right in between the previous row. Um, I kind of use the opposite color as a guide. Okay, so uh, here we're using that uh, red orange, and I'm kind of just um, putting the dots right in between the two blue dots. I'm using um, the outer dots as my guide at this point. Now I just found the stone and just loved it. It was a nice sizable stone that I found at uh, my local landscape company. Okay, now I'm going to move right on to um, an 8 millimeter crochet hook and I'm going with the straight red and the straight cobalt. All right, this is the um, the largest um, row of dots that I put on the stone. So this will be the uh, the last tool that we need. Very hard to see. Okay, so. And here is the straight cobalt, which I think is a fantastic color. I love it. It's a nice, strong blue. I did notice that my cobalt paint was thinner than my red paint. And when it dried, it um, was kind of sagging a little. It didn't run, so that was good. But it definitely had um, a little belly on a couple of the dots. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to hit the like button and um, definitely leave me a comment I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you're new to my channel I would love to have you as a subscriber thanks so much for watching see you next time